Good afternoon. We're back uh, with another local business. Uh, this one's really, really cool. If you can see behind me, this is some glass artwork. Uh, incredible. Uh, let me pull up some more pictures of some of this work. Uh, this one's my favorite. Uh, let me get my butt out of the way. There's a, a girl with a martini made of glass. <laughs> and then we also have this beautiful image. Uh, if you can see, it's a it's a woman. Oh God, I gotta get out of the way here. A woman uh, with a looks like a cityscape. It's kind of cool how that's done. So we're uh, gonna be joined by the owner of, and I'm gonna pronounce this correctly, N Al Glass. Claudia <laughs> now. She's the owner of the company. Uh, she is the artist that we're talking to, and I'm gonna throw it right out now to Suzanne Slate, real estate agent, Echo Fine Properties. Hey, Suzanne. Hi, Rob. You're back from vacation. I am, and I'm excited that I'm here. And I can't wait to speak with Claudia because I just think her artwork is amazing. And there's Claudia below. So Claudia, give us a wave. There she is. There's Claudia. Hello. Hi, everyone. So we're going to learn a little bit more about an owl glass and just these amazing works of art and the process and how long Claudia has been doing it for. and. I think we'll find out too if you're interested in purchasing some of this stuff how we can do that too so suzanne i'm gonna let you take it away all right claudia how are you i'm doing well suzanne how are you i'm great i love your accent tell us where you're from thank you uh, i was born in bogota colombia oh nice uh -huh. when did you come to america i came here eight years ago Eight, years, Eight ago. years ago, yeah, with my family. Oh, Has my two kids, yeah. How did you pick Florida as your place to come? Sorry, how did oh my husband? He got a job here. Okay. Uh, really, I was working in New York at that time. I was working um, in a beautiful project. I was doing the restoration of a stained glass in in New York. Uh, it was a um, a um, big project around 18 months and I was traveling at that point we were living in Santiago de Chile and um, I was traveling all the time uh, every two three months to New York and I stayed there one month and back to Chile because my kids and my husband were there and then um, my husband got a, an offer here and he was like okay I'm gonna try this he came for all the interviews and he said, okay, come awesome. here. Yeah, so. Well, welcome to that? America, welcome to Florida. We're so glad to have you here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. So you are you are an amazing artist. Um, Thank and you. glass art is something I don't see very often. So tell us how you got into what you're doing. Now, you're an artist, everybody knows when they're born that they love art, they're an artist, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, I've been an artist since I was a child. Uh, always, I wanted to work with my hands. I used to work with different materials like clay, uh, acrylics, wire, paper. And um, when when my daughter was born, uh, she was born in Germany. We were living in Germany also, like 17 years. Uh, when she was born, I said to my husband, you know what, now we have two kids and from now on, I want to do something for myself, something that stays with me with me forever. Because, you know, kids, they grow up and they will live, but I want to keep this forever. This is like my third child, let, let's say that. <laughs> and, and I started to learn uh, in Germany and I had to travel sometimes to, to learn from other people. But um, honestly, I've been, I mean, my work is the most of the result of try and error. I am a person that like to work, work, try, try, and, and see the results by myself. When you say to me, if you say to me, you know, if you don't, if you do this, the result is going to be this wrong so i'm gonna say you know i want to try it out i want to see how how that uh works how that comes out and this is actually how how i am i've been doing this for the last 20 years 
So I, I work with glass. I stayed with that material because I can work, I can do very different kind of uh, things. I can um, use and, and combine that, uh, those pieces with different materials as well, like uh, uh, iron, wood, um, uh, how do you say that, um, uh, Lana? How do you say that? Okay. Wool, uh, you know, so, to... Uh-huh. So flowers, I'm a, a floral designer as well. So I love to combine everything and do different pieces, uh, very unique pieces. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of cityscapes um, in some of your artwork. Is that something that you always visualize coming from a city or, I mean, cause it's so beautiful and it seems like that's a passion. Um, like you see, I like colors. Colors is my passion. I, everything where I do, I, I just can't, I mean, it's, it's nice to do things like clear or with just one color, but I love the combination of all the colors and give them alive. And the cities that you were talking about, those those are uh, series that I am making for a um, initiative uh, that I am part of. Um, and this is, um, may I explain you uh, yeah. how, what this is? This is Artist Support Pledge, okay? This is a initiative that, that um, an UK artist um, develop and at the beginning of the pandemic of the um how do you pandemic. say that huh? pandemic. yeah pan yeah pandemic mm -hmm. and um this is every time i i mean i i can make different things as i want for the price of 200 okay not not it's not more expensive and if i reach thousand dollars i am commit to buy another piece of another artist so this is a kind of support between us mm -hmm. and of course we promote that to everyone and i already reached that uh, point thousand dollars and i bought a piece of a friend of mine for the two hundred dollars and now i'm starting the second second round let's say because i want to help more people, more people. And that way, when the people buy something from me, they are helping me, but I, I am able to help another artist. That's so awesome. mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's why we do these also, you know, it's the local artists, it's the local businesses. You're, we're here to promote you, but you are also helping other people, which is great. And yeah. so you have a series of these, like I would like to pledge for you. Wow, so beautiful. Thank so you. I, Thank you. There, you go to your website or your Instagram. You have, do you pick something that you were pledging for? You you can go to my Instagram or Facebook account. Those are the pages where I am, uh, where are updated. Let's say because the the website, the the people, the designer, he does it every six months, every eight months. So this series is not there in my website now. But not, you can of course you can reach me through Instagram or Facebook, and you just can let me know. Also, if you have an idea of your favorite city, you can say, I don't know, the Eiffel term or something. Hey, Claudia, could you do that? Of course I can. Of course I will. I will do it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold you to that one. <laughs> Beautiful. We all love cities, but now we're trying to stay away from them. So if you have the artwork in your home, you, <laughs> almost like, you, know, you don't need to be there, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. What, so tell us some of your, like you have some favorites, I'm sure, that you've done. Are you in your studio right now? Uh, I had to close my studio. I had a studio for about um, five years. Uh -huh. And yeah, and I had to close the studio end of April. I have my kilns and all my material uh, at home, but I can't use them. Uh, so... Um, but I am doing different things because, as as I said before, I love to to do things uh, like paint and and I can do that on glass as well. 
I don't need the kiln. I can do many different things. So I started to be to do this, uh, for example, series or with glass ties that, that I made years ago. And I was looking in my boxes and I was like, hey, I have a lot here. I can use them. What can I do with them? Okay, the series came down and I said, okay, and I started to paint them. And they are doing so well that I'm very happy. But um, but yeah, this is my home studio. I've been here the, I don't know, 80% of the day. And then in the kitchen as well. <laughs> when I am at home, I have to cook more families here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Suzanne- well, Rob's in his kitchen too right now. You don't, just can't see it. I am, you can't, you can't tell. I'm sitting at my kitchen table right now. But, uh, but, I, but I love nature and, um, I love, this is one of my favorite things, nature, and I love to to go and, and walk to the, I don't know, I'm pretty sure you know Marikami yep. uh, Gardens. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I go there, I live very close, and I go there every very often, and this is like, a, you know, I can breathe, I can get inspired, I can get quiet, it's everything like very peaceful, so that's very good. So, I love that's that place. So you I have anything I, in your right around you that you can show us. If any, yes, yeah, show us something. Uh, okay, I have here a little one. This is one of the older series that I'm starting. I don't know if you can oh, see yeah, it. That's cool. That's a light bulb. Uh huh. Let's see. And it's gonna be like an installation, like around six, ten of them. And let me show you something else here. I love this one behind me, Suzanne, with the, it looks like, she said this is her daughter. And yeah. it's, it's yeah. blended in. Oh, this is that. another piece. Oh, wow. That, <laughs> that's <laughs> I could put that on my wall so, right now. So looking at that, <laughs> what you're holding right now, Claudia, how do you do uh -huh. that? How do you do that? Okay. <laughs> let me explain you. Um, you know, clear glass, like window glass. So I buy my my glass sheets, very big, and then I cut them the shape I want, in this case, round. In this case, this size, very big. I can make also plates or dinner sets, you know. And, um, and then I give the color I want or the design I want. I have done different projects, so from people that they want something very specific with different things. For example, martini lady or coffee lady. I don't know if you saw it uh, as well. And yeah, okay, that's martini lady, correct. And yeah, that's it once. I, and I work with glass powder. Everything what you see in here is glass, but in powder, mm. powder. And once it's done, I put my piece into the kiln and it fills the piece there for about 24 hours. It's in the kiln. And then you take it out and yeah, and it's done. This piece is, yeah, it has that process. That is beautiful. That's amazing. That's yeah. The, 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 the colors, I mean, even the colors uh, and with the, with the image that you're holding there, the piece you're holding there, Claudia, and then in the image behind me, the martini lady, as I call her, it's incredible. Suzanne, I think this is like the perfect gift for when you when you close on a home and you want to get that special piece for that client of yours. I think this is the perfect thing to get right here. Something different and cool. I, I, I thought of that earlier because I just closed on a beautiful home on the water on the ocean. I'm like, what would be most beautiful to have a piece of glass art to give them? Yeah, yeah. That was, was a commission and the owner is very happy. I have done for her like about three different things. And yeah. So it, explain, to, explain to the viewers right now, I'm gonna try to get myself out of the way here, but tell me about this piece. Cause this one really caught my eye. It's, it's kind of different and it's cool. It looks like you see, you said it's your daughter. And then- That's my daughter this, in New York. New York City. She's lost in New York. That's the, uh, the name of that piece is <laughs> new you new york you know yes like not new york new you and then a kate at the end and i was working here with a another technique which is uh 
image transfer. And since I can transfer with this, any uh, in this technique on glass, on porcelain, on metal, any design I want, even, uh, I don't know, logos or I don't know, anything you, you like to, to have. And yeah, I made this piece because that was, that picture was uh, taken in New York, of course, with my daughter, we were there together for about, I don't know, we were, we went there two weeks we spent time alone and it was so beautiful and I wanted to to keep that uh, forever uh, in mind and that was yeah that's a that bit, it's, it's a small plate I don't have it I, I don't know where it is now in one of my boxes <laughs> but I made another piece which is bigger much much bigger and the uh, and I transfer everything on porcelain ties and uh, wow. it's about 35 inches by 30 wow. is huge. Yeah. It's, it's so beautiful. And, and then yeah. here's another work that caught my eye is it's two faces, right? In glass. That's a, skull, a sculpture, yeah. And the name of that one is uh, Two Souls. And um, that's, uh, yeah, I, I made that piece uh, with another technique, which is uh, slumping and um, Tiffany technique. It's a combination. Th those are the like the lines that you see. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh -huh. those are like uh, Andrea. How do you say cicatrices? Scars. Scars that we all have. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. And uh, yeah, it's a couple, and we have uh, sometimes we leave scars in our lives, but um, but we keep being the same. Yeah. So. That's amazing yeah. because these, you know, these, you see these glass images I've just been showing behind me, some of Claudia's work, but there's meanings behind every one of them, uh, which is, which is awesome. Yeah. And Claudia, the, the biggest question for you is how many times have, have, have you broken glass while you're doing this? Has it been like, oh no, like something broke as you were doing it? I'm sure there's been some, some times where something, no? Not at all. Let me tell you something. No, sometimes uh, the accidents happen always in the kiln. So that's for me always like a surprise, you know, because I put my piece completely, everything is okay. I say, okay, I close the kiln. I say tomorrow, let's see what happens. And a couple of times I've been open the kiln and see that everything is broken. Oh. So the first <laughs> impression is like, a, Oh my God, what happened? What did I did wrong? Something was wrong here. And the most of the uh, time, I know that it was something in the, that I pro something was of course wrong, but it wasn't that uh, like a mistake on uh, at the end of that piece, because the, the I, I, I have many, many pictures of pieces that that completely broken, but the people, they love it. They love them how they are, how they come out. They are. They say, oh my God, that piece is amazing. And I never uh, was planning to do that piece broken. Mm. But, but okay, the results, they are always there. And I say, okay, this is like my kiln says sometimes, okay, now I'm gonna put my, my hand here. I want, <laughs> I wanna give my sign as well. Wow. So yeah, but that happens, yeah, very rare. I've, I've, I mean, Suzanne, I'm going to go through some of these images, you know, behind me here, but I, I've never seen, I mean, I have seen, but not, not to this extent. Some of this work is just, in, it's incredible. Um, this one's cool. I, li I like this one a lot. Um, That's another technique, pas de verre, and this is, if uh, you see there like a bowl, right? Uh -huh. But everything was done with powder, glass powder. Huh. So with my hands, I made the mold, I put it into the kiln, and that was the result. You And when you touch it, you can you can feel it, that there is a huge difference with that, with real glass, with the other glass. Mm -hmm. But this is glass powder, yeah. So for those of you just joining us, we're joined by Claudia Anau, uh, owner of Anau Glass. And this work that you're seeing right here behind me if you're interested in checking some of that work out, 
or purchasing some of that. Uh, there's a website. It's Enao. It's H E N A O Glass dot com. Or you're on Instagram too, right, uh, Claudia? What's your Instagram page? It's the same one. It's Claudia dot Glass slash. No, Claudia Enao dot Art Glass. Dot Art Glass. So. I mean, this is Suzanne. I, I, I'm telling you, I think your next closing, you find one <laughs> of these special images or find something. And it, Claudia, you can create just about anything. If someone had an idea or something that they wanted, you can kind of formulate something. Yeah, yeah, Robert, I can. I can do, yeah, most of the work that pe people ask for. Uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, uh, a client of mine from New York, she called me and she asked me to do some glass, um, blow glass uh, flowers. And I have learned that technique in, in, in Europe. And the, the three times that I was working in that technique, I burned myself. Mm. And I was so scared with, to, to work with, directly with fire. There is a no, this is not for me. I'm going to keep working with my kids. I don't want to work with fire. And many other people, they keep asking me like, hey, can you do that? And I was like, no, I can't. I can't. I don't work with that uh, in that technique. I don't have the kilns. And that uh, client, a very good friend of mine, she called me and said, please, I want blown uh, flowers here in my house, but from you. And I was like, OK, I'm going to give a try. And that was so beautiful because, um, okay, here in Lake Worth, there is um, a studio where I was there and I could make my, my project and she's happy. I am overwhelmed happy <laughs> because I, yeah, I, I'm able to work, to keep working with fire and no more, no more, uh, I'm not scared, scared anymore. Right. That, very cool yeah it's just I'm very happy it's you it's unique it's different it's cool it's fun uh i mean this stuff is just this would be the talking piece in a lot of people's homes i feel especially i'm gonna bring it i love this piece behind me though i don't know what it is it's just i like orange i'm wearing orange i guess that's what it is the orange and the yellow but <laughs> the uh the uh the, the martini girl is so cool suzanne i think you, yours would have a bloody mary though it'd be a lady with yes, a bloody mary I'm bloody mary yes sunday fun oh. day. Rob, if you like that, please check the other one, uh, Mart uh, Coffee Lady. I have it in my website. Coffee you Lady. Will love it. I'm gonna. I am gonna check that out after. It's and again for those of you just joining us, uh, you can check out. It's Enao Glass. That's H E N A O, H E N A O. I spelled it right. Yes, H E N A O <laughs> Glass dot com. That's where you can see all of Claudia's work. Claudia, can they order? Uh, the glass uh, from that website or how do they get in touch with you if they want a place or if they see something that they like? Yeah, if they go to my website, there is my email and telephone number. So there is it's a very easy way to reach me or uh, also on my other social media like Instagram or Facebook, LinkedIn, yep. Twitter, Alignable, Pinterest. She's all I'm over. everywhere. So you have products. You have products on your website and Instagram that you are you are selling, or do you mostly do commission? I no both both. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. And I think the greatest thing about this, Suzanne, is we just talked you know, when you guys were talking earlier while I was off, it just about how Claudia gives back to other local artists, which is amazing to me. You know, she's selling stuff, but she's also giving back to other artists. It's this is the great thing about community. This is why, this is why we, you know, bring on these local business owners and these local artists and everything around us in the community because it's the community sticking together here. It's it's amazing to see, uh, in these tough times, how uh, community has become so valuable and it's a good thing. And it's businesses like Claudia's um, and and her amazing. I mean, this artwork is just fantastic. So if you're, if you're looking for that special piece for your home or maybe as a gift to someone i think this is the perfect <laughs> gift i do yeah thank I'd you love, so i much. love having local art in your home you know it's just a special piece that uh, you don't get at a store it's just, it has meaning behind it too and you name uh -huh. your products too your right they have names right uh-huh sure yeah. 
Well, I want to thank you, Claudia, for coming on today and telling us all about your business and, and showing us. I mean, I just see, like I said, we see, we see the beautiful displays. And for more, guys, if, if you want to see more of these designs and more of her artwork, again, it's H-E-N-A-O-Glass.com, or you can find Claudia on Instagram. It's, uh, tell me your Instagram name again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually follow you as we speak. So tell me what it is. <laughs> Claudia Eno dot art dot glass Claudia. you will find hold on h-e-n-a-o see i'm doing this as we're speaking there it is claudia and now dot art dot glass and i'm going to give you a follow and wow yeah there are, look at all those on there oh my goodness i know there's some great pieces folks a bowl you have some bowls on here um and then it, are, it also looks like you have another one a claw is this you claudia now art floral floral art Yes, I, I am a glass. I am a floral designer as well. Yeah. So, so I have another page. So we're gonna follow that one too. But so, so <laughs> folks, get get on Instagram, check it out. Go to her website, check it out. Claudia, thank you so much for coming on today, telling us all about your business. Um, Suzanne, as always, thank you again. And if you'd like a, if you'd like to promote your business, you have a local business out there, and you're looking for a little free PR. This is what we do here at Echo Fine Properties, and we love to do it. Suzanne is the queen of the business interviews. I feel like she's done about 95 already. Uh, there's Suzanne's number, 561-719-8220. So if you'd like to highlight your business, Suzanne would love to do it. And you know what? Heck, if you want to buy a home or sell a home, she's there too to help you out with that too. So uh, she, she's the master of all trades. She she's she's been she's been a busy little gal uh, with her with her sales and real estate. She's doing a great job while she's been doing uh, these business highlights. And, you know, it's it's people like Claudia that you see on screen here that we love to promote. It's it's those it's the people that are within our community. Um, I know Suzanne loves these. You you do. You get you, you... I love these because I, I love the people. I love our community. I think it's so important that we all promote each other. And during this pandemic, it's been so difficult. But this has been a real silver lining for me and a lot of people it's it's giving them pleasure and like i never knew that existed i didn't know they were over there and then you get to meet like we're meeting the artists it's not just on a shelf somewhere in a gallery or, or at a store you actually are meeting claudia and say i think she's adorable i want one of her artwork you know <laughs> so. thank you so much to you both yeah and um, very nice to meet you and thanks for the support to the area, to the people. We need that. All of us need yeah. uh, support, and that's nice. Thank you. Well, why yes, we and if you ever want to come back, you let us know. You're welcome to come back anytime. You do a, a special piece that you want to highlight and show. And okay, you need some support again for getting that local uh, yeah. to another. And, uh, and, 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 <laughs> and just I don't even know how to talk. And you just as you said, Suzanne, you know, we, we're highlighting these local businesses and it's fun because, you know, we're in a, a weird time right now with the coronavirus and some businesses are closed. Some are open. Well, most are open, I guess. But it's a different way to market your business and uh, virtually. And you know what? Someone in uh, Canada may be watching this right now or in uh, in Hawaii or I don't know. Heck, maybe maybe Ireland. And they're seeing this glass work and they may place an order. So you never know where you can market your business to and the people that will see Correct. it. Um, you know, now if you're a pizza place, I don't think your pizza will get delivered to Ireland. But hey, if they come to South Florida and they want a good slice of pizza, they'll come to your restaurant. I don't have any problem uh, to send anything to Europe or anywhere else in the world. I've been sending work all over. Yeah. Yeah, all over. Awesome. So I really don't care. <laughs> well, we it want is. we want to thank you again. We want to thank you for joining thank us, you. Suzanne. As always, there she is, five six one seven one nine eight two two zero. Call her for if you'd like to highlight your local business or if you have got any real estate needs, she'll help you out. So, thanks again. I think that does it for us today. And thank you, uh, thank you Claudia, and everyone have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you, Rob.